Now, what we are talking about is the idea of a patriot administering Hong Kong is nothing new. Uh, in fact, it applies to any country in the world. If you go to any country, uh, you, will, you will certainly find those vested with governing power must be those loyal to the government, loyal to the country, must be, must be absolutely patriot, patriotic to the country. You know. this, this, this is an international norm. I would use the word political ethics. It's common sense. It's, it's, it's really an imperative for anyone in a position of governing or, or administering a place uh, to really to be patriotic to his or her country. So this, this point is beyond argument. We are very hopeful that once the law is in place, a new arrangement is in place, we will have a new landscape, political landscape, in our Legislative Council, in the District Council, in overall Hong Kong context. For one thing, in the past you witnessed political wrangling in Legislative Council, fairly bustering in Legislative Council. In fact, very little positive business could be conducted, but now the situation will be completely different. We will have unity of mind and purpose. Unity of mind and purpose means complete in, work in concert, in unison, that is good for Hong Kong, and conducive to Hong Kong to resolving a long entrenched, deep-seated uh, social problems like housing, like youth mobility, like employment, and so on and so forth. Uh, the plan recognizes the, the creation of Hong Kong as an innovation technology center of China, a very important idea, a very important measure. Secondly, it will enhance and upgrade Hong Kong's status uh, as, as a very important access in civil aviation, the civil aviation hub. Thirdly, and more importantly, it's, it will certainly do its very best to enhance the development of the Greater Bay Area, the Guangzhou, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, which is really the area for development in the short term, medium future of Hong Kong. And finally, also, it will promote Hong Kong as an international arts and cultural center. And all these would certainly fuel Hong Kong's economy and propel Hong Kong forward and scale new heights in the years ahead.